Hi everyone. Today's keyword is Chris. I mean winter holiday. By the way, why can't we say Merry Christmas without offending people anymore? Also, what are the differences between Merry Christmas and Happy Christmas? Let's find out. With people also add. <laughs> So welcome to What People Also Ask, where I search something seemingly obvious on Google and share with you some of its part, aka People Also Ask, which is a feature telling you what other people search on Google that related to your query. Pardon my French, but today's keyword is Christmas, which is a term probably as offensive as winter holiday to other people. But how can this unremarkable December alternative to "see you later" and "hi" and "goodbye" can be so offensive to someone? The first part: Why we can't say "Merry Christmas"? We'll answer the first question. So the first part is extracted from an article titled "Why We Can't Say Merry Christmas Anymore Without Offending People," published in 2016 by the Palm Beach Post, which is an American daily newspaper in. Uh, where is it? Oh, Palm Beach County, South Florida. This article starts by discussing a controversy of a satanic display in Boca Raton's San Born Square, a designated freedom of speech zone near a Christmas tree and a biblical nativity scene. The satanic displays include a pentagon and a sign read "In Satan We Trust, One Nation Under Antichrist." It was placed by Preston Smith, a member of the Freedom from Religious Foundation, which is a nonprofit organization that promotes separation. Of church and state, this organization challenged the legitimacy of many federal and state programs that are faith-based. As it turns out, there is an ongoing debate about whether America is a Christian country or a secular one. And the proponents of the church-state separation argue that their hard-earned tax dollars shouldn't be going toward displays like nativity scenes. And also, Christmas, since it's a religious holiday, it shouldn't be a national holiday. But obviously, government can't cancel Christmas because it's one of the biggest commercial holiday in the United States. The cancellation of Christmas will be disastrous to its economy. So what do we do? Cody Winter Holiday. Well, so here's the question: Can we still say Merry Christmas? Which is the next part we are going to talk about? The answer of this part is extracted from an article titled "Using Merry Christmas or Happy Holiday is No Longer About Putting a Stranger at Ease." Published by NBC News in 2019, written by Melissa Moore, author of "Holy Shit: A Brief History of Swearing." According to Melissa, when we greet and take a leave of people, we rely on what linguistic code. Phatic speech. These are expressions that, as social linguistic Peter Trudeau puts it, establish and maintain good social relations without necessarily communicating any information. When we say things like "please," "thank you," and "how are you," we are greasing the social wheel. That indicating that we are positively disposed toward our interlocutor and that we know and abide by norms of politeness. Until quite recently, "Happy Christmas" is one of those static expressions, a December alternative to "See you later" and "Have a good day." Today, however, the choice between sticking with the traditional salutation "Merry Christmas" and a more political correct one "Happy Holiday" reveals your political stance. Merry Christmas means that you are likely a conservative and comfortable with Christianity as default. And Happy Holiday indicate that I am a liberal and try very hard to be inclusive, but I still want to wish you a Merry Christmas. What is interesting is that this article also talk about the differences between Merry Christmas and Happy Christmas. According to the author, in Britain, this reveals your social status. Though Happy and Merry are synonyms. They actually have different connotations. Merry implies a degree of reverie that is missing from happy, which tends more toward quiet contentment. When you make merry, you are doing a lot of drinking, dancing, eating rich food, and playing games. I'm happy means you are pleased. I am merry means you are drunk. For some reason, the British upper classes either objected to Mary's echoes of debauchery or thought that it had become too middle class by the time King George V gave the first royal Christmas message on the radio in 1932. On that occasion, he wished his subjects a happy Christmas, and upper class British has been saying it that way ever since. Are you a proudly middle class? Then by all means, go with Merry Christmas. Aristocrat or social climber? Happy Christmas. A posh person feeling guilty about sounding posh? Then go back to Merry then. Also, winter holiday is not necessarily referring to Christmas, you know. According to an article titled "Why Is Christmas Date in the 25th December," published by WhyChristmas.com, which appeared to be a website dedicated to Christmas-related information, there are several holidays that associated with winter other than Christmas. Those holidays include, but not limited to, 
Yo in Scandinavia, Roman Festival of Saturnalia, and of course Hanukkah. So the winter holiday is not necessarily referring to Christmas, but for some people, Christmas just has to be a winter holiday. That's why a lot of Australians celebrated Christmas in July. Which leads to our next part. What is Christmas in July in Australia? The answer is extracted from an article titled Why Australians Celebrate Christmas in July, which is published by the Christmas World, which is a company selling Christmas decorations. Here are some excerpts from this article. Australians get to celebrate Christmas twice a year, once on the traditional December 25th, and then once again in July. The reason this is done is that December down under is anything but cold. So instead of being hurdled by the fire, drinking hot chocolate, Australians head to the beach or have a date outside in the sun. Then, when July finally rolls around, this is when Australians celebrate Christmas in the traditional sense since it's colder. Although we know it as Christmas in July, Australians call this second celebration Yuletide or Yulefest. Since it's colder in July down under, Christmas can finally be celebrated with drink by the fire and getting cozy in warm attire. Alright, that's recap. Today we learned that the way you greet people in December might reveal your social status or your political stance. But no matter what, you are still running a risk of offending people anyway. Australians get to celebrate Christmas twice, and the second celebration they call the Yuletide or Yulefest. Alright, so today's question is, how do you greet people in December? And did that ever offend anyone? Let me know your experiences. Bye!